I've wanted to make this video for a while now. Today's video is a discussion piece, and I have a real concern. I'm going to showcase exactly what I mean, and I really want to hear your thoughts, because I'm going to fully explain it. Stay with me. It's going to keep building and building. There's a ton to go through, and I hope as I get going here, you're going to see it too. In order to make this particular video, I needed to test things out, and a part of that testing was doing the recent series that was showcasing close, mid, and long range builds to try. And in those videos, I took an exotic that's underused, fully built to them, and then used them to peak potential. To me, it does feel like there are some constraints on what you can actually do with your build, because this coexists with how the Crucible is played. This is somewhat of a blanket statement, but I think most of you are going to agree with these three things in this order. We all want to do well in the Crucible, and most of the time, it starts with these three things. Number one is recovery. Your recovery stat is one of, if not the most important stat for the Crucible, actually in the entire game. This is why a lot of armor stat rolls go to this, having high recovery armor. Not even talking about mods, but once you start getting into the mods, it's one of the most important mods as well. It's one of the most expensive mods in the game, so you're somewhat kind of forced, persuaded, pushed towards getting high recovery armor to save that mod space. The second thing is going to be your class ability. The cooldown for your class ability is tied. Hunters need mobility, titans need resilience, warlocks need recovery. For your class to perform at peak potential, you want these stats to be as high as they can be. Hunters can dodge more, titans can pop more barricades, warlocks more rifts. And the third thing is going to be intellect. Again, Again, armor goes to this because it's one of the most expensive mods in the game. You want to be at least 5 or more most of the time. A lot of players go as high as they can, 8, 9, or 10. In a game mode like the Crucible, if you have 3 intellect, that's a 5 minute super. If you have 8 intellect, that's a 4 minute super, so a full minute faster. The game's only 10 minutes long. In something like Trials, 30 seconds can easily pass by in rounds. It's an important stat. With these 3 things here, there are armor stats and mods going to them. Most players are somewhat forced into recovery and intellect armor. They cost the most. Recovery's 2 energy minor, 4 major. Intellect's 2 minor, 5 major. Because these stats are invested into, then we start getting into Powerful Friends Radiant Light. These are used for charge with light, yes, but most importantly, they're used because Powerful Friends is giving plus 20 mobility, Radiant Light plus 20 strength. That is 40 stat points out of thin air. It's like being able to add a second general armor mod with benefits. For a lot of players, the majority of players, this is why you see it. It makes way too much sense to run this. And that's why you should be. 40 stat points. And you also have charge with light with the added benefit. This is the basic basic universal build. I think most of you are going to agree with that. High recovery, very important in the Crucible. Not being knocked out of gunfights. If you have 10 recovery, they have 5, you can push them quicker. It's a very simple principle. You want your class ability to be high so you can use your class ability more. And then you want your intellect to be decent so you don't get run over and snowballed. These three stats usually are at 7, 8, 9, or 10 for most players. I'm going to come back to this. This isn't even getting into stasis with the added recovery and all the things that it can give and so on. The other stats are made up after and it kind of goes to priority. Resilience, you pretty much need at least three. The game has made it that way. There are some TTK shifts, but am I going to be taking away 9, 10 recovery to get up to 5, 6 resilience? These stats aren't made the same. If your team has low intellect, you're going to get snowballed. If you take shots and have a long recovery time, they have a fast one, they can walk you down, they can get new angles. All before you're ready to come back out again with a little bit more health. If your class ability isn't high, you're just an NPC walking around. The next time that you're playing Iron Banner, Trials, and you see what you deem a quote tryhard, a sweaty player, look at their stats. Look at where those stats are going. Because with this base setup, you now fill it out. Well, I'm sniping. I'll, I'll take a sniper scavenger. Uh, well, I don't necessarily need targeting on my sniper to have snapshots, so I'm gonna go with hand cannon targeting. Well, on my gloves, I want my hand cannon to reload a little bit faster. You start getting down into your class item. Let's go with double outreach for my melee. I could have done double bomber, utility kickstart, and so on. It feels good. So now, let's talk about exotic builds. And I'm gonna start with Titan. I have these exotics in five Five groups. A melee or grenade exotic, so think armamentarium. Class ability exotics, think sight and ramparts. A super exotic, think Saint-14, Ursa. A subclass specific exotic, like Hollow Fire Earth. And then a true neutral exotic, think Dune Marchers. So for Titan, there are nine melee or grenade exotics, four class ability, four super, three subclass specific, and three true neutral. And that could be Peacekeepers, Dune Marchers, One-Eyed Mask, Burning Steps. For Hunter, there are nine melee or grenade exotics, three class ability, seven super, one subclass specific, and 13 neutral. Warlock, seven melee or grenade, six class ability, five super, four subclass specific, and 11 true neutral. All of these are on the screen right now. And with a lot of these, the lines do blur a little bit. Like, let's take the Titan's Crest of Alpha Loopy. Yes, it's a neutral exotic, but you're investing into resilience. It's a class ability exotic. 
you're popping barricades. Something like Kepri Sting, yes, it's a class specific exotic for a Night Stalker, but you're investing into the melee. It's a melee exotic. It's all about what you're investing into. The things you see in the Crucible are these right here, class ability exotics and true neutral exotics. The problem builds are these right here, the grenade and melee. And here's my concern, I'll get to it, but here's why. Let's take the Getaway Artist build that I went over for Warlock. It's for the grenade, but for this thing to work, to really shine, I have to have a high grenade stat. My class ability is recovery, so I'm kind of saved there. I have decent intellect of six. I lost out on some stats, but this was to make my grenade work. And to get it to work, my armor and armor mods went to those things to build it out. I need double grenade kickstart. I need double utility kickstart. I made these decisions, and yes, there were some sacrifices made, and I don't have enough for targeting on my hand cannon. I don't have space for a reloader. I can do just one kickstart on my gloves, but it's not gonna work as well. I'm trying to get this turret to come every 20 or so seconds. So I lost out on some things, I built my grenade, I lost some intellect, I lost some weapon mods, but I'm making this grenade build work decently. Or take Shinobu's Vow, 100 Discipline, 100 Mobility, Major Loss on Recovery, Intellect, Strength, Mods for Targeting aren't really there for Sniper or Hand Cannon, Bolstering, it's taking up where the reloaders go, there's no room for unflinching, Double Bomber with Double Bolstering making the Shinobu's Vow work. When I made these videos, I wanted to look at the comments. There were tons of them. Cool guy, I don't have all those mods. I don't have the materials to do that, to change elements, to make these stasis or these void. All of this takes shards and prisms, tons of materials to make and switch. Decisions on where to master work, how to master work, where the mod slots go. Tough decisions like I'm not gonna have a reloader or I can't have targeting because this build needs this to work. Getting very in depth in the build process or wait for it, let's go back here. I have the big three, class ability, recovery, intellect. Why not just do this? Let's go ahead and throw on the old pumpkin spice boots. The big three are still high, the most important things in the crucible. And look at that, I can put on hand cannon targeting or even sniper targeting if I wanted to. I can do hand cannon loaders. I have enough for hand cannon unflinching. I have enough to put on for sniper scavenger, which costs five. These neutral exotics, dune marchers, steps, stompies, these are a go-to in part by the constraints of building things out, the confines of the crucible. In this space, it calls for high recovery, high class ability, high intellect, period. Then you're just adding to that with what some of these neutral exotics bring to the table or the class ability builds. Then of course you can do this, add on stasis, just make it all a little bit more meaty, but there are zero negatives to these exotics. So like, why would you build into a melee exotic? They've, they've made it tough too. Why would you build into a grenade exotic? Getting those stats high just in hopes of getting it going. And even at tier 10 strength, it's 43 seconds, 32. It still takes a while. Or you could have something that works at any time, all the time. And those things that you want within the crucible are more than met because if you go hard into grenade melee exotics and we have the same loadout my loadouts weapons are always going to be faster than yours reload faster take less flinch i have more than enough for scavengers for my weapons you might not you're taking a hit somewhere and on top of that the big three for me are going to be high and in this case with the old basic pumpkin spice boots here i jump higher i jump further i slide farther than you these stats are worth more pound for pound than anything that the builds are giving and to the player, consciously or subconsciously, the game is near forcing their hand into them, getting high mobility for the hunter so you can use your special class ability. There's no other way around it, getting high recovery so you aren't playing in the mud, high intellect so you don't get snowballed. Then the armor for those things costs four or five for the major mods. Then you do want scavengers that we don't pick up one per brick. You want targeting so your guns feel a little bit better, unflinching reloaders. You're getting free stat points from powerful friends, Radiant Light, just to beef it all up. The game has shifted here. All of these most used exotics, A, are so neutral that it's just elevating the stats that you put together with the big three. Stompies, Dunes, Steps. Or B, the class ability that you're already building into so you can use it a ton. The Stag, Dragon Shadow, Sighton, Crest, Backrest, the list goes on. Those are doing well because you're already building into them. And no one really builds into the melee and grenade because they're incredibly hard to build into. And B, you lose out on so many important things mentioned all throughout the video. You lose out on a ton of things, or you could. And my concern, those melee and grenade builds, those exotics, what are they? They're abilities. And multiple times it's been said that the sandbox is going to be shifting to more gunplay, less ability focused. And I'm cool with that. That sounds great. I'm ready for a more weapon based crucible. However, these things are already not used, and when you try to use them, they're incredibly difficult to build into. 
With that change, what do you think is going to happen to them? Like if Stompies are already S tier, is there a tier above that, like double S tier? It's pushing all of those things further and further up the list, and it doesn't matter if they get nerfed. Because when Dune Marchers get nerfed, there's still One-Eyed Mask, there's Antaeus Ward. When Stompies, if they ever get nerfed, there's Dragon Shadow. It's just going to keep on going. And when I think about abilities, look, if you make a Sunbracer build, that's building into your melee. If you get off that charge melee, final blow, and you throw off seven solar grenades, cool, that's awesome. There's a cost and effect for that. Is the lightning grenade a problem? Is the arc bolt a problem? Most abilities in a general term, they're zoning things. You throw a nade in a choke point. You throw a nade behind a box. Most melees are for the subclass. The melee ability gives Striker Frontal Assault. The Void Walker Devour. Now, is that really a problem? I don't think so. So when they say the Crucible is shifting to more weapon base, less ability focused, I really hope that there's a system in place for these things, because when you think less abilities, more gunplay, like this right here is stupid. There was the OG Dust Field. There was the different versions of Shatter Dive and Shatter and the Supers. The, the Stasis abilities were too hot when they came in. And I really hope that the rest of the abilities aren't viewed like this when we get a less ability focused Crucible. They shouldn't be viewed like this. The Solar Grenade didn't do anything wrong. No ability in the game is like the Stasis ones. And I do want to be clear, I do like Stasis. And that might sound crazy to some of you. I like Stasis because of the dynamic. I like the Freeze, the Slow, the Shatter. I like that interaction. And since Beyond Light, they have tweaked things as they should be. And like they said, Shatter Dive's next and, and who knows where we're going to go from there. And there is a world where it can be good and balanced and everything will be okay. I, and I really hope I got across what I wanted to get across because most exotics aside from class ability and pure neutral don't get play. And they don't get play because you have to build into them. And when you build into them, you lose out on a ton of things and the game's made it hard for you to build into them. With the others, you don't lose out on anything. You just actually elevate it. The only thing that you're building into, the only criteria that you need to meet are gonna be those three things. And the class ability out of the gate, a lot of people are doing. Playing through time, recovery starts getting into players' heads, so does the intellect, so they don't get snowballed. So I hope that you learned something as far as building things out and what it looks like. And maybe you don't play too much Crucible, because I know on the PvE side, there's wells, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff on that side. I know some PvP players are having some issues with their mods as well, such as getting your finders and your scavengers with how much they've made them cost. But I've been watching the Crucible for a while. You know, I, I'll be looking at games on the other team. It is seriously almost 90% every time they're on a class ability or neutral exotic. And they're running those high stats because those are the most important things in the Crucible. And I've seen people mid game switch off of their Atherses to Stompies, switch off of their Sunbracers to Stag and so on. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. I love Grenade and Melee Exotics and those builds. Atherses Embrace, Young Ahamkar Spine, Armamentarium, Sunbracers, there's so many of them. But a lot of the time, push comes to shove. You try out those builds, you get beat. It's back to roiding out your overall stats. The Dunes go on, the Stompies go on, the Stag comes back out. And I'm concerned that those exotics are just going to keep getting left further and further behind. I really hope not. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And if you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below and my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about this down below. I know there was a lot that I went through, but let's talk about builds, build crafting. How deep do you get into it? Or is there no real point? Use one of the ones that have no penalty, slap it on, go slay out. Let's talk about it. Thank you for watching and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.